Hello mate, welcome back. In this video we're going to do a little bit of housekeeping. The first thing you can see on your screen is that I've made a slight change to the BG image uh, screen and all I've done is added if RenPy loadable BG string, add BG string. So I've just added this line in and tabbed that in one. And all that means is that if the image that it's trying to call isn't loadable, it just won't show anything. Um, that really only will have an effect right now because we don't currently have a background.jpg file. But obviously once we create that file, that will no longer be a problem. So when we come back into our main UI.rpy file, what we now need to do is make some changes in here. So we've got a button screen and we want our characters to appear just above that. So we're going to say uh, character underscore screen and we're just going to check that we've spelled that correctly by going into our character screen there double click control c and then control v there that just makes sure that we've got that in the correct place next thing we need to do is we need to use the top underscore bar underscore screen just check again in our top bar screen we've got somewhere on here there it is just double click on that Remember, we still haven't finished this because we need a couple of icons, but just going to make sure that we've spelled that correctly. After the top bar screen, what we need to do is we need to say if nav underscore menu. So if you remember, we created that variable to check if the nav menu is open or not. If it is, then we're just going to say use nav underscore screen, which we haven't actually created yet, but we will. Then we're going to use the tooltip screen. Then the last bit we need to do is we need to say if notification add backgrounds forward slash overlay underscore one dot png and that's another file that we need to create so we're going to go into our notes and we need to go create backgrounds forward slash overlay underscore one dot png for menus or oh, sorry for notifications now the reason we do that is because if you have the say screen up um, you don't really want anything that's on the screen to be interactive you want them to close down the dialog window first then they should be able to re-interact with the main UI so what we're going to do now is we're actually going to go into our screens.rpy and we're going to find our say screen. Say screen, in-game screen, is that the say screen? Yes, it is. And all we're going to do here is we're going to say if notification use main UI. And we're going to check that we've spelled that correctly. You know, we haven't. Good job, I checked cool beans so now what's going to happen when we have a notification window come up the main UI everything that's on the screen is going to stay there but there's going to be a transparent PNG file laid over the top of them to stop anything from being clickable until we close down the say screen again nice and simple one other item that we're going to want to put back into our screens to RPY which I foolishly delete the whole thing is just a screen called quick menu with a pass statement inside it that just stops rempi from throwing a hissy fit when it tries to run and it can't find this so you just need a blank screen basically just there because that's hard coded into rempi we could go into the python document and remove it but it's just easier just to leave it in there it doesn't do anything as fine as it is Okay, so the last thing in the terms of screens that we need is actually a map screen. So we're going to create a new file in our screens folder and we're just going to call this uh, now screen.rpy. And in this, we're going to create a new screen called nav underscore screen, like so. Inside this screen, we need a frame and we're going to set it to have a background of none. We're going to set it to have a Y align of 0.5 and an X align of 0.5 as well. We're going to set it to have a size of, uh, yeah, so X size we'll say is 1200 and Y size 
we'll set to 794. Now we're going to add a UI forward slash map forward slash map underscore BG dot PNG. Right, before we go any further in the notes, we're just gonna put that, copy that, create a map background. Okay, that was silly, let's just say map BG. There we go. Now we know that that's there. Now where in Hades am I? Got to find the file nav screen. There we go. So we've added that. And uh, now we're going to go through our locations for Q in locations. If Q.unlocked and Q.map. So we can say if it's unlocked and it's got a map icon, image button. Uh, nearly. I keep making silly typos. Hover Q dot map icon. If you remember, we created that in the class. If we come back to our classes, go to the place and you can see map icon is there. That's a property. So we can just double click on that to make sure that it's correct. Idle will also be Q dot map icon. Focus mask. True. Now I may have made a typo in a previous episode where I accidentally put an equals in here. So if there is one, just remove it. It doesn't need to be there and it will cause your game to crash. Uh, action is going to be set variable and it's going to set click type variable to be nav. If you remember, we checked in our script. I just drag this along here so I don't lose it again. Script. We've got click type nav, and then if it does, it does all this stuff here. So we're gonna say set the click type to nav. Toggle variable nav underscore menu. So it's gonna close the nav menu once we've clicked on a location, and then it's going to return q.name. And then we're gonna say hovered tt.action so we're going to get a tooltip if we hover on the map and it's going to say go to put a space in there as well plus q dot nice name nice name doesn't have a capital n at the top cool beans let's just double check in this class to make sure that it is actually a capital n in nice name for this class let's just have a look no it isn't it's a small n but we could always just change that to be a capital n it's fine nice name nice name 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 blah, 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 blah. that's cool boom saved happy days so that's our nav screen completed we can actually close some of this stuff down now i've got way too many windows open i'm going to close that one down We've got a tip screen, we can close that one down. Got a button screen, we can close that one down. We can clean our closed tutorial screen. We've got main UI is basically done with for now. Screens, I think we've pretty much finished with. Tooltip screen's pretty much finished with. The background image screen, I think we've finished with. We never finished with defining variables, so we'll keep that one up. Character screen's definitely done with for now keep our notes open top bar we haven't finished with we need to add a couple of icons to that so I suppose what I could do is preemptively create those buttons now and then we can find the image files later so we're gonna say image button there and we're gonna say xpos 1860 close to the right hand side of the screen uh, y pause we'll put at zero. Uh, idle. It's going to be UI forward slash icon. This one's going to be the help icon, I think. Dot PNG. Let's just copy that. We're going to have to type it again, aren't we? So I say hover that again. Action is going to be set variable. Click type is going to be help if you remember correctly we also called for that so where are we help there we go uh, right we need to toggle variable tip screen
So it brings that up and then if it doesn't, it basically it will toggle the help on or off. Return, help. We're just returning something for the sake of returning something there really. We don't actually need anything returned from this one. We're just telling the game that you wanted to click on the help button. Uh, focus, underscore mask, good lord. Uh, true, and hovered, TT, action is going to be show slash hide hint let's just say that that's nice and simple cool so that's our help button next thing we need is a button to bring up the map so we'll say image button uh, expose this one let's go for how much were we like we're minus 60 let's go for another let's go 50 i don't know yeah, 50 is fine. Um, so that's going to be 1810. Y pause is still going to be zero. Uh, idle. Let's just give this. So this one's not going to be help. This one's going to be uh, pin or map. Or let's just say map. Uh, hover is also going to be map. Icon map. Lovely jubbly. Um, action is going to be set variable nav underscore menu oh my god i'm making a right pig zero this today set variable open brackets nav menu close brackets so we're actually toggling this variable not setting it silly me toggle variable nav menu and return nav. Uh, yeah. Uh, focus mask. True. Hovered. TT dot action is going to be uh, toggle the map. Happy days. And let's just add a back button as well, since we're using that that value the old location value we'll just say uh, if location is not the same as old location add an image button now uh, this one's going to be xpos uh, 1760 because that's 1810 minus 50 again y pause is going to be zero idle is going to be uh, ui forward slash back dot png Hover will be the same. And uh, action will be set variable. Click type is going to also be nav. And we're going to return. This time we're returning the old location because that's where we want to go if we're hitting the back button. Hovered is going to be tt.action. Go back to previous location. Now, the cool thing about doing it this way is that the checks to see whether or not the location we're trying to go to are carried out if we click on nav. So if we say, right, we've clicked on nav, uh, a nav button we're going through all the all the locations if ui return equals a name and that place is unlocked then we will travel to it basically however if it isn't lo unlocked if it's locked if, if for example we've been kicked out of a room we cannot hit the back button and return to that location it's impossible so that's one less thing to worry about so that is basically the screens now done, I think. Um, so I can't think of any other buttons that we need to put in here. We do need to put in our notes that we need to create top bar icons into our notes file. But that's basically that file completed. So presuming that you've filled everything out correctly, what you should now be seeing is, well, more than anything else, you'll be seeing the game won't run because we haven't got any icons, so I'd be looking for images that don't exist. But basically, the actual nuts and bolts of the game are done. We need to just add some characters in our lists. 
and then we're into the stages of writing the game's content and creating the images for it thanks ever so much for watching that one guys i hope you found that useful let me know what you think in the comments below subscribe like and all that jazz and i will see you in the next one but until then you take good care of yourselves all right bye bye